Hey everybody, it's your friend Sahil. Welcome to this After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to look at creating this. A really simple cool trampoline animation. So come, let's get started. So open After Effects, go to the new composition, change the composition name to trampoline and keep the setting as 1920 by 1080 and duration for 1 second and click OK. Go to the view and click on show grids. So I'll be dividing this particular tutorial into two parts. So first is ball and ball animation and second is trampoline and trampoline animation. So let's get started with step one. It's ball and ball animation. So go to the top bar menu, click on eclipse tool and create a circle. Change the stroke size to 20. Change this eclipse name to ball and click here, control C, control D, rename this layer to glare. Go to the transform property and change this to 70. Go to stroke, create the dashes there. Click on this plus and make it 60. Change line cap to rounded cap. Go to the glare, click here and add a trim path. Change the end to 30. Click on this layer. Go to the pan behind tool and keep it at the bottom of the ball. Change this layer name to ball. Now I'm considering this ball to be a spongy ball. Okay. So, so how ball animation works. At the top, it will be a circular. At the center, it will take an oval shape. At the bottom, its shape changes. And height will be reduced and width will be more. And when it's going back, it's again take the oval shape. And when it reaches back to the top, it again take the circular position. So we will be using the same concept in our animation. Okay. Click on P, position and click on S, scale and click on U. So we will be uh, animating two properties here. First is position and second is scale. So we have clicked the timer here. Okay. Go to the once half of the second. Click again. And at the end, click again. So first let's take the position property. Okay. At the center of this keyframe, I want this to be at the bottom when it's hitting the trampoline. So take this position and drag it towards the down. So now it's hitting the trampoline. And when it's going back, it's going back again on the top. So see the animation now. So yeah, it's not fine. Go to the, uh, go to the keyframes. Press F9, do the easies and go to the graph editor, change the graph, drag towards the left and right and at this moment when it's hitting the ground, it will be for very few seconds. So I want you to drag this bezier handle towards more towards the left and right so that the time frame at the bottom is very less. So now see the animation. Yeah, it's good. So now we'll be changing the scale animation. So go to this particular position, change the scale to 80 to 120. So now it took the oval shape. When it's hitting the ground, change this to 120 and 80. And when it's going back, just copy paste this keyframe and control V. And at the end, it will be a circular. So select all the keyframes, press F9. Now see the animation. Yeah, so we did achieve the ball and ball animation. So now let's move to the second point that is trampoline and trampoline animation. So for the trampoline base, I'll be using a simple line. Go to the pen tool, click here, create a line and change the stroke size to 60. Go to the content, shape and stroke, change this to rounded. Go to the shape here, click on pen tool and create a leg. 
again go to the stroke and make it rounded so for now i'll be creating just one leg i'll be just copy pasting it later rename this layer to base and this to leg one rename this layer to trampoline go to the base we'll be animating path property in this so go to the pen tool and add a vertex there so we now have three points okay so go to the path so when ball is hitting the trampoline it's going towards the down so select the path tool and drag it down make use of convert vertex tool and make it smooth so now when ball hitting it's going back so i'll be creating a small oscillation there where it's coming back to the base Just copy this keyframe and paste it f9 so see how this is coming out nice so now let's animate the leg go to the path property of the leg layer Just click on timer drag it here create a new keyframe go to the next frame create a new keyframe select the path and take it here what we do here is go back 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 So easy is all the key frames. Now let's see how our animation is looking. Yeah, that's good. So now let's create the other leg. Click here. Press Ctrl C, Ctrl D. We have the second one. Go to the transform property. Rotate here. Click here minus hundred and change the position towards this end. Now see how how our animation looks like. Yeah, that's coming out really nice. So let's add a shadow. Rename this layer to shadow. Remove the stroke. Add a fill and reduce the opacity of shadow layer to 30. Unhide the grid. This is our final animation. And that's really it. We created the simple trampoline animation in After Effects. I hope so you enjoyed it. It was really fun making this tutorial. And that's it for today. I'll see you next week. Thank you.